Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us this week as we take a journey uh, every day together to name our anxiety. There's so many things in our world right now that can cause many of us to have anxious thoughts and anxious heart. Uh, and one of those that really sticks out during this season is this idea of health. There's so many things to be concerned about when it comes to health, when it comes to this virus. Uh, we can have anxiety for people that we don't even know because we're concerned about healthcare workers, nurses, doctors, first responders who every day have to deal with this pandemic at their work. And for many of us, that can cause an unrest in our heart. It can cause our mind to go places that make us feel unsettled and scared and fearful. And actually our anxiety can spiral so much that it cripples us, that it makes us unable to uh, do the normal things that we do. And we end up sheltering and being isolated and living in constant fear of this thing of anxiety overwhelming us. I found myself in this kind of place a couple years ago when I was overwhelmed with anxiousness that I didn't even know where it came from. There was a lot of stressful things going on in my life at the time, but I had no idea what they were doing to me inside. I had no idea that my mind was beginning to spiral and spiral into an anxious grave. And so God, being as good as he is, he sent some scripture my way that I would love to share with you today that maybe you can share with someone else. It's in Psalm 94, verses 17 through 19. And it says, unless the Lord had helped me, I would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. It says, I cried out, I'm slipping, but your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me. When doubts fill my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Unless the Lord, that's my favorite part. Because no matter how bad your anxiousness may be, maybe a friend of yours or a coworker or, or a family member, you can point them to the scripture and say, the Lord is here. He will catch you when you're slipping. He will comfort your mind when it is unstable and anxious and fearful. I wanna encourage you today to share this video with someone who you may know who's struggling with anxiety. Maybe they're feel for, fearful for their health. They're fearful for someone else's health. Send them this video, encourage them to read Psalm 94, 17 through 19, and have them check out our playlist. We put together an incredible list of songs to encourage one another during this season. The song that got me through my difficult anxiety season was the song Rescue by Lauren Daigle. In it, she reminds us that God will send out an army to help us when we are in the darkest place we've ever been. And so I pray that God will send an army your way. And I pray that you will be the army that your friend, your family member, or your coworker needs to point them to the hope we have in Jesus. Have a blessed day.